Hello there, Cancerians! Welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. We are going to do the mid months for July. I wish you guys a happy birthday again for those who are still um, in their Cancer season. So let's just see what we have going on for you guys. I was getting very good energies when it comes to finances for you guys. You guys are working real hard to establish something for yourself or gaining more um, freedom within your situation. And you seem to have like financially everything working in your favor. So make sure that you take advantage of these energies as well. There is a lot of hard work and the hard work will pay off. So if you have been trying to get a business starting or whatever the case is it is going to happen for you there's a lot of financial freedom that i'm seeing for you guys so let's just see what we have going on for my dear cancerians let's see four of swords this is a lot of like disconnect from people disconnect from everything around you and really being in a meditative state really thinking about uh, future goals, future plans as well, thinking, healing, resting, and just like not wanting to deal with a lot of people or with people, their opinions or their mess or whatever it is, just like having a peace of mind. There might have been a lot of things that were blurring up your vision or your mind that you needed to clarify for yourself or find your, your own answers, all right? You might have been also on a you know a break with some important people in your life just to get your mind cleared up all right there, there might have been a lot of smoke there yeah ten of wands ten of wands a lot of responsibilities and thinking about how to release those responsibilities in order to be more free right this is Sagittarian energy here so making moves towards um, towards something new. There is a lot of stress on your mind. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of worries as well that you had to disconnect from in order to set every, like organize everything in your life and set new goals, as I said. All right, we got the seven of swords. So there is definitely, you might have, you might have been the one that kind of like, you know, sneaked out the scene actually, sneaked out the party without like saying bye to everyone and just wanting to, restore your own mental state here and reorganize and restructure things that were just like lingering on. Um, so not a bad thing. It, I think it was very much needed for you. All right, there might have been someone in, in your surrounding that could have done that to you as well. Like kind of like, you know, sneezed out, snoozed out of the occasion in order to, whoa. Look at that. We've got the Justice card. Could be dealing with a Libra here. Hierophant. Let's see what else the spread is saying. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. For some of you, if you have been struggling with getting like an apartment or buying a house and you had to wait for um, for the mortgage or anything, it is going to happen for you, all right? You, you will be getting whatever you have applied for and definitely if it has to do with, with like your stability or your housing situation and trying to find a new place you will get it you will get what you wish for you could have been waiting for some kind of legal papers to be you know coming through and they are gonna come through perhaps after like within a couple of weeks you will get like the full green light to to the house is what i'm seeing here let's see what else we have Nice. Six of Swords, Three of Wands, and the Temperance card. Bottom of the deck is a Page of Cups. So it just seems like if this is a love situation, it seems like 
the tension has gone up in the past and there was like a separation that was needed or it was like divinely guided that both of you needed to go into separate corners and just heal from whatever took place in the meantime i feel like you have organized all that you had to organize and you now are ready to make like more objective decisions and more balanced decisions where you really also think about yourself and not only the other person so there was a there was a there was a need for you to protect yourself in the situation i feel a lot of protective energy from you so that's definitely like a cancerian thing right like when you feel a bit like a bit attacked or someone is just like pushing you into a corner you kind of like shoof go into your own corner and you protect yourself you, you you get your guard up and you get your shield up and whatever decision that you're making you're making it in regards to your own emotions your heart and your feelings and i feel like that's what has happened and I feel like that was the best uh, way to go. I feel like whomever you're dealing with, they, they, they respect the boundaries that you have set for yourself. So that's a very good uh, energy that I'm getting. I feel like they were, they, they may may have been pushing your like pushing your buttons, pushing you a little bit to the limit. And once you just stood up for yourself and you you said what you had to say, they kind of like have a lot of admiration and respect for the way that you have been carrying yourself with with that grace as in like, no, this is not what I want. And like speaking that up made them kind of like have be a little bit weak in the knees is what I'm getting. And it, it, it makes them realize how strong you are as a person and how strong this foundation with you actually is and that they do want to have a stronger commitment. I feel like there is a very strong commitment here on the table, two commitments. And I feel like both of you uh, are now kind of like going to talk about your needs and your wishes and your wants. So I feel like whatever you did not accept you already talked about and now it is going to be more about what you want in a relationship and that could be also like a tough one sometimes right like we 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 rather say like oh i don't like this i don't like that like you know that kind of energy instead of like well these are my wishes these this is what i want and we feel like if we say that we become more vulnerable so i feel like that's going to be like the main thing for you if that's not the case Perhaps you need to start thinking about it, write it down, or uh, find a way to communicate this in some kind of way. I feel like that would strengthen the bond between both of you into a higher commitment here, most definitely. All right, you could be dealing with a with a Libra, like I said, or a Taurus individual. Could be any sign or Sagittarius I have here, Pisces I have here. But anyway, I feel. After the turbulence, there is going to be a resurrection here. Six of Swords. A lot of people are getting the Six of Swords. It's crazy. But this is kind of like moving forward and moving on from, from a past situation where there was a lot of hostile energy. So there is definitely peace and resolution that is going to come your way, especially with this Hierophant, which is number five, which is always about like a lot of changes or difficulties or opponent, uh, opposing energies. And with the justice here, it could be like things that are out of your hand that you may have felt like very unfair about or the other person or both of you. It's kind of like being wrapped up in like this karmic tie. And that's also like an energy that I keep on seeing back in those readings. There's a lot of karmic energies that is coming to the service. It could be like past energies, past life energies or any energy that was interfering with your movement forward. All right, but I feel that your higher knowledge has the key. All right, you know exactly how to. I I want to say like preach, you know, like maybe this person does view you sometimes as someone that is very high, like knowledgeable, like some kind of a preacher or a teacher that just always gives like a higher knowledge. But like your higher knowledge is now saying like, okay, back off. You know, this is like against my odds or against my beliefs right now, right? And I feel like there is, if if you both were at a drift, there is definitely a balancing of, of both your energies that is going to take place. 
I feel that whatever you've been working on or wishing for, even though it was very difficult, like a very long, difficult period, you're going to get what you wanted. You're going to get that peace. That's definitely talking about peace. It could also be talking about like moving towards someone or, um, you know, having that because I feel like there has been some distance and there is this distance that might be what is keeping you both a bit like struggling here, but both of you are going to come together here with this temperance card this is definitely a very strong and powerful energy with a lot of fire and water here. So there needs to be definitely that balance that both of you need to create, which is going to happen. It does talk about patience as well. Temperance card is, a lot about patience so maybe it does require still a lot of patience planning and organizing and structuring towards the future and with that being said i think that it will be you know it, there will be like a new start here most definitely after a big disconnect there is going to be a very fresh fresh new start all right let's just see what a numerology deck, what we have here. <clears throat> Telling you a new beginning. There you go. <clears throat> a new beginning. Like I said, there is going to be a new beginning. Whether it is your career or your love life, whatever it is, it is going to happen. Wish granted. All right. So thank you so much. I am going to continue on Vimeo with the He Said, She Said spread and have like a little bit. Uh, clarifying this spirit. So I see you guys soon. Bye.